Long story short, I have a Dell 5490 and sometimes the trackpad doesn't work. Let me explain. So when I boot up my laptop and it's on the lock screen, the trackpad works fine. When I come to this home screen, the, the, tra the trackpad is like doesn't exist anymore. Like I keep on trying to move it and it doesn't move. So what could be the cause of that? Well, I did a lot of research and people were saying that the actual trackpad is faulty, which I don't believe, okay? If it works on the lock screen, maybe it's a driver or maybe a software application that is causing this problem. Or even sometimes a application that is disabling it because on my keyboard, I cannot see anywhere for like a disabled trackpad. I, I can't see it anywhere. So this is a few fixes that I found to be useful. So if it does help you, just leave a comment below and uh, let me know. So whether you have Windows 10 or Windows 11, just navigate to the Windows update and just say check for updates. And make sure you go to advanced options, uh, let's see, optional updates, okay, there. So the optional updates are for drivers, like for your mouse pad or maybe display drivers. So what you wanna do is just download the the drivers and then it should be working. Let's say now you already have the drivers, right? And basically you want to make a trackpad work, okay? You go into Dell's website and download the Dell Touchpad Assistant application. So once you got this application installed, you will see it appear in your, what I can say, taskbar with an icon like this. So once you got that, just open it. Okay, and then by default, right? By default, it's on this setting here, precision touchpad. So when it's on this now, Basically for my computer, it doesn't have a precision touchpad. It's just got a normal Dell touchpad. So I don't know why by default this is the case. So now your trackpad won't work at all. So what do you do is you just go into the bottom, right? And how am I doing this? I'm using the nub my computer has. If your trackpad doesn't work at all, use an external mouse just for enabling this option. So you just say show legacy Dell touchpad settings. And once you show the legacy touchpad settings, then it's gonna appear on the left here, right underneath precision touchpad. Then you just open it and you just say Dell touchpad on and press save. And now your touchpad should be working perfectly. But let's say this method does not work at all and you need to uninstall basically the touchpad like driver, or I wouldn't say driver, I would say the application. So all you do is go into control panel. Uh, let's go into here. Control panel. Then we're gonna go into uninstall. So you just go into programs, uninstall a program. Look for the Dell touchpad, uninstall this application and your trackpad should work. But I recommend you to actually get the Dell touchpad assistant uh, which looks like that one over here, just mainly because you can use gestures and so on. Like, you know, you can, let's say you go into gestures, you can do three finger swipe, four finger swipe, stuff like that. So if you uninstall this application, you won't be able to do all these nice features. Okay, let me know which one worked for you down below and if this helped save your trackpad from being replaced.